Hello. So, we're going to um, finally bind the skin uh, or the mesh to our skeleton or joints. So, in order to do that, because our mesh is entirely one piece and we've already parented the eyes to the head, and if you had a tongue or teeth or whatever, you'd uh, also parent that accordingly. Um, the if you had top teeth it would be parented to the same joint as the eyes uh, if you had a tongue and bottom teeth they would be parented to the jaw um, the jaw joint so um, and if you had a hat same thing a hat would be parented here or if you had some anything uh, that was going to move with the head you would parent to this joint so just make sure before before you go ahead and follow through on this next step that you have um, completed the rig exactly how you want it to uh, work and um, that's about it so what we're gonna do is it's a really simple process I'm gonna select the skin and under my rigging tab I'm gonna go to skin I'm gonna select the skin and then shift select the root joint and then I'm going to go to skin and bind skin. Now, you should, it may not work exactly how you want it to, but once that's done, your mesh will animate. You'll notice I have some weird pulling in this region and, and right here, but for the most part, it's animating pretty good and you can run through all of these and just make sure that it's all working well so you'll see we're starting to get some bend in here um, there's usually not too much cleanup needed um, in regions where the arm comes down it usually sucks in at this point and we'll fix that here momentarily uh, the neck can usually get some weird pulling yeah we're getting some weird pull in the chest um, let's see what happens here you're seeing you get that weird pull and then as I rotate that the face is actually starting to warp as well so let's go ahead and start to fill in some of these um, uh, weird uh, uh, skin uh, how the skin deforms and let's get into um, uh, painting the weights on it so I'm gonna start with uh, the head first. I think this might be the easiest way to sh visually show you what we're going to do here. So I'm going to simply just rotate it around. All right, and I want to see that strange odd definition. I might have to rotate it again later, but I'm going to go to skin and paint skin weights and I'm going to hit the settings box. So my toolbox is open. In here you're going to see all of the joints and all of the joints that are um, once I have a joint selected you're going to see what is highlighted in white or gray as it sort of fades out is what is affecting the mesh that joint affects all of those and it's primarily affecting the vertices or vertices <laughs> so like I said I'm gonna start with the face and I'm gonna go to scroll down until I get to neck three now you're gonna see this entire region sort of grayed out and you'll see a lot of pull in this chest so I don't want that and just like the soft select tool tapping B we're gonna hold B to resize our brush and then just like the sculpt tool holding control will invert and just clicking will add so I'm gonna start I'm gonna hold control because I want to get rid of all this here in the chest region and you'll see it just start to warp back right into place and anywhere like in here on the arm a little lower in the midsection here the upper midsection I guess you'd say and then maybe over here because when I rotate the head I just want it to rotate the head I'm gonna just keep going here and maybe the neck joint one of these lower neck joints I'll have affect that region a little bit more as for the head I'm gonna start just to paint this all in and just the head part I'm gonna try to stray away from the neck as much as I can I know it's gonna highlight it somewhat but I'm also gonna go ahead and fix that when I go ahead and um, fix the weights on the neck itself and you're gonna see this especially in this region right here this is all gonna to start to 
warp right back how it's supposed to look when the head's going to rotate or animate. Okay. So basically the entire head should be white on that joint. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go ahead and test it one again. And you're seeing I'm still getting some pull, but that's more than likely in the, on a neck joint. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to zero. And then I'm going to go to one of my, or this jaw joint. So I'm going to select the, the mesh again. I'm actually going to rotate this upwards because that's the next one I want to do. And then I'm going to select here. And I'm actually going to pull that down. And you're seeing uh, I have like this weird pull in this region in the mouth and so on and so forth. And I'm going to go ahead and fix that right away. And this is a really great part to show you uh, another tool. So I'm going to select, select my skin or mesh again. And then I'm going to click the paint weight tool. And instead of painting this weight, typically this is a hard one. It can be a hard one to get. So I'm going to scrub all the way down to my jaw joint. And you'll see I'm getting some pull. I'm going to hold control. And it's working kind of. Um, and typically when something like this happens, I've already taken off all the weight on that particular joint from the jaw, but I'm going to show you one trick while I have it um, easily accessible. So I'm going to switch to vertex mode. I'm going to highlight just that one vert. Then I'm going to press my paint skin weights tool. So I'm going to repeat that one more time. With this joint right here, I'm, or this pull on the nose. I'm going to select on just that vertice that's being pulled out like that. And then I'm going to, in vertice mode, I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to select Paint Skin Weights tool. And this is actually a tool that a lot of people don't understand how it works because it doesn't work with the Paint Skin, uh, paint skin Weights tool. You have to select a vertice and then this hammer tool. I don't know if the name's going to pop up in yellow. But this little sledgehammer here, I'm going to click it and you'll see it just warps right back into place. Um, for whatever reason, I, I don't remember the official name of it. I'm going to see if it pops up. Uh, weight hammer. Fix vertices that have bad weights. Select them and use the hammer. So it really just, it's one of the most useful tools, especially when you can't figure out where a pull push and pull is happening from. So that is my secret on um, uh, painting skin weights. That's, that's the biggest little trick I can show you. Um, when it comes to this process. Now I'm going to select the mesh again on object mode and I'm going to go down to my jaw and in my jaw you'll see I have all this pull. I'm holding control And I'm just going to work around here. I'm going to hold B and bring my brush a little bit smaller. Whoa. And you'll see that I have my... Just bring that down slightly. And I'm going to use my paint skin weights tool again. The jaw is one of the more tricky spots. So on opacity or value... Let me see what else we got in here. Um, we have replace and smooth, add. Replace and everything at default 1 is typically how it works. I'm going to do 0.5 on opacity. And it should... 0.5 might even be a little strong. And all I'm trying to do is grab just the bottom of the mouth. Not anything else other than just the bottom. So when I move my jaw control, okay. And if you hold shift, it just runs a smooth on it. And it'll just sort of smooth everything out a little bit.
and it won't have so much uh, texture stretching. You can't see it without the texture on it, really, but um, it is happening. Okay. I'm going to select off just to see where we're at. And this might be a time where I want to pull the hammer tool and go back here and just select my little hammer. See if that does anything. And you can also select more than one vert. Let's try it one more time. This is going to be a tricky spot for any tool to uh, work extremely well. Paint skin weights tool. There we go. And then I want to get rid of it on the top part of the mouth. Not entirely. Maybe I just want to run a smooth into it. And that should help with the deformation. Now that's an extreme uh, motion there. But it is good to start with some type of an extreme motion um, because uh, this way I can easily see um, what's happening. All right, so now I'm going to go zero here. I'm going to select this jaw joint now while it's in its default pose. And you'll see when I open the mouth, I have a little weird deformation happening. But I'm going to go back and just go ahead and touch that up. Looks like I got a little bit of, and we can mirror as long as your 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 vertices are all um, I'm holding shift here while I smooth this out just a touch, and I think that's pretty good for the for the jaw. So now I've got my jaw. I'm able to move it around. Okay. Okay, so off to a good start. The head is looking good so far, and while I'm at it, I'll start working on the neck. Okay, so paint skin weights tool. I gotta make sure the mesh is selected. Paint skin weights tool. And then while I'm here, I'm just gonna smooth that out a bit, and then I'm gonna go to my neck. I have my neck two here neck one and that's the one that's really giving me the issue and now I'm going to bring my opacity back up to one and I'm going to start to take that off of the chest region And I'm holding control to take away. And I should probably get a little bit closer with a smaller size brush here and get in here. And just at the base here. Just the base of the collar I want to sort of get rid of. And I just want it oop, to affect. And then I'll just use a smooth in here. Maybe I'll bring down my opacity to 0.25 so it has a little bit okay and then I'm just gonna run a sort of a just a smooth around this All right, so now I'll take my neck, put it back into place, and I expect the shirt to move a little bit in the neck region, but um, not so much in the chest area. Now I'm only going to really focus on the left side of the body, and then I'm going to mirror joints onto the right. Sometimes it works really well, sometimes it doesn't. So um, again, the best way to do this is to start to move some of these joints around, right? I know I'm going to need it to look good here, so I'm going to select my mesh, paint skin weights tool, 
and then I'm going to go to uh, our shoulder, L shoulder I need to go to. Oop. L shoulder, and you see that I have a lot of, change my opacity back to one, um, a lot of happening in in the skin weights region here that I don't need. I don't need all this extra information in here. So I'm going to go ahead and start to sort of pull that off. This region can be controlled primarily by the clavicle joint. Um, I'll get to that shortly. And then in here, I'm going to run a smooth and just start to smooth out that region. So it sort of um, plays a little bit nicer, if you will. And then let's bring the brush size a little bit smaller, 0.25, so I make subtle adjustments to it, not major. Okay. And there we go. So I say that looks pretty good for that part. Now the other thing I have to worry about is when his arm goes up like so. Now that's the shoulder region. So when I bring his arm up, this is a point where you may have the clavicle sort of play into that. And I think that actually, I'm going to check the weights on it, but I really like the way that's starting to look. So um, I may not do too much to this. I'm going to probably take away more uh, region in here and a little bit lower. And I don't need it all the way over here. And bring this down, my brush size. And I don't want it to affect the neck too much. And I would say that's actually pretty good. Something like that. And maybe underneath the arm, not so much. something like that. I'll say that works pretty well. So now I've got my shoulder and my clav working together pretty well. And now I've got my elbow I'm going to check the elbow right now. Skin weights, paint skin weight. El elbow. And el elbow. And this is another spot where uh, I'm just going to start to take away region holding control. Oop, a little bit too much there. My elbow shouldn't have too much influence on the actual shirt. Um, let's go ahead and come in here, and I'm going to hold shift and start to smooth this out a little bit. Overall, it does a pretty good job. Whoa. Pretty good job in here. Oh, a little bit too much. Oh. This may be, this is where that hammer tool comes into play pretty well. And just smooth that out. Okay, so you'll see I have some little bit of strangeness happening in here, but you get the idea. 
I'll open the arm just a touch. And it's okay to have... The... Um, when bending the arm, having the uh, actual... meshes sort of intervene with each other because when you bend your arm actually this is actually a pretty good example when you bend your arm and if you look at your elbow they kind of smush together and what we do to sort of um, it looks like I have a really wicked scar right here um, what we do to sort of replicate that end here um, is to uh, have the mesh sort of intersect with one another so you'll see it push through to simulate if you bend your elbow and look at it the the sort of the skin and the muscles sort of smushing together and that's basically how we go ahead and um, simulate it uh, without too much effort I'd say that's pretty good. All right. So now when I bring in my elbow, it should bend pretty well together. So I'm getting that sort of smushing that I was looking for in my elbow region. And it looks good on both sides. Okay. So I'm pleased about that. The wrist, the fingers are really difficult. I would say my wrist is actually just fine. Um, going into the fingers this one becomes tricky because the fingers are so close to one another that I'm actually gonna take these three bring them up I'm gonna take the next three bring them down and you're seeing look if you notice I'm getting push and pull on the other one and this one I'll bring down so now I'm going to select my mesh skin weight again and skin weight and I'm going to go to my left hand left index and I don't want this to have any influence on I will go back, however, and sort of make sure that, um, make sure that this is, okay, L index 2. Basically, the first step is just running through all of these and making sure that one joint isn't affecting the next, the other joint. So I'm going to go L index 3. And this finger should start to sort of form back into somewhat normal. Uh, uh, the somewhat normal default mesh uh, that it was originally built by. Okay. And I'm going to skip ahead to the ring. Because the ring will have some heavy influence on that. I'm on my middle finger. Yeah, okay, good. And here we go. All right. And now I'll check the pinky to see if it's had any influence on it.
And the fingers are definitely some of the trickier spots to do because they're so close to one another and there's just so many joints in them. All right. Make sure the ring isn't affecting that. Okay, now let's go to the middle and make sure that that's not affecting this one or this one, because I haven't checked that yet. Okay. And I'm just holding control to make sure that I'm not having any uh, I'm just trying to delete all the weights that are attached to other fingers. Okay, so now I'm going to bring all of these back to zero. And then I'm just going to check them one at a time. That's working. That's working. And that's working. Now if I was going to get really particular I could start going in and cleaning up some of these other skins uh, to get a little bit less deformation in it and um, typically I would but for this demonstration I'm gonna push on to the next part um, I also have to check the thumb before I move forward and then we'll get into uh, And then we'll get into um, the foot. So this is just controlling a little bit too much of this section. I don't want it to control so much of the hand. There's too much influence on there. So I'm going to just say that's pretty good, and I'll go ahead and zero this one out now. Okay. So now that I've done that, now I'm going to do one last part, and I'm going to get the foot in place here. So I'm going to start with like the hip region. I'm going to go to paint skin weights, and I'm going to start on L. Where is it? L hip joint. And I'm going to start by removing any region that may be affecting it too much or too little or what have you. Don't want it to affect this leg really at all. And there are other ways to bind the skin, but this technique is easily the best way to do it. Um, I wouldn't even, uh, I've tried the, I've, I started to learn how to bind skin using the interactive bind skin tool, and I really just find it atrocious, uh, in comparison to this method. And again, same thing like the elbow. You'll notice that uh, some of these regions, they just sort of blend to one. They kind of just combine into one region altogether. So I would say that's pretty good. The knee itself. I think the knee is actually good there, too. That would be the same thing that we would do with, like, the elbow. And then... just to make sure. You always want to double check that. And I'm still getting some weird pulls, so I'm going to check my knee joint next. 
and bring this brush larger. Maybe not so much in the upper thigh region. And then maybe just smooth it out just a bit. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and zero this one out. Whoop. being all weird. This will be zero. This should be zero. And I don't know why that's happening. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. And when that happens, what we can do is I'll select on my mesh I'm going to go skin and go to bind pose. Oh, and it won't let me. Okay. Let's see, it looks like I may have never zeroed out the controller on here. It's a possibility. And in which case. something like that and I would just have to basically eyeball it from that point on if I don't have it zeroed out so that's that's one that you can't really fix too much once you get to this point without having a lot of issues alright so I want to do modify and I have locked the scale mm -mm -mm. and that could be one reason why I may have in order to unlock it just go here unlock 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 and I'm just going to try that again I still have the visibility Yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm not going to be able to freeze transformations on this easily. Um, let's go ahead and check this one. And what I'm going to do, actually, I'm, right now, I'm going to select my mesh, and I'm going to show you one last thing. And I'm going to do skin and mirror skin weights. I'm going to hit the settings box. Y, Z, positive X to negative X, closest point, and then I'm just going to hit mirror. And now everything that I did to the one side should replicate to the other side. And it looks like it did pretty well. Okay. Um, go ahead and finish off the foot. The m primary one to do is the ball raise. Um, but other than that, we're basically finished with this control rig. Uh, it's binded now, and it's ready to go. Um, one thing that does bother me is that I don't have this zeroed out. And the only way to really fix it is I'd have to break the entire uh, foot control and then refix it. Um, I will do a video on it. Um, however, if you get to a point like this and it just seems too difficult to sort of overcome because it is a little tricky um, don't worry about it just put it in the best spot you possibly can to make it look like it's in its default T pose um, other than that that's all the tricks I have to painting and skinning weights and um, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one